how did you uh, spend the rest of your Saturday? We had recruits in, so normal typical Saturday for our coaching staff after the game and back in early Sunday morning. Did you hear from some uh, alumni after that one? Um, a couple guys that I keep in touch with, Troy and some of those guys, but it was good. What did they say? Congratulations. <laughs> um, wow. Sorry. <laughs> what, was your, what was your impression of the take when you were viewed on today? Um, there's some mistakes we have to clean up. Obviously, we had a punt block. There was a miscommunication in how we were blocking the, the look. Um, didn't get our count right. We need to get that straightened out. Um, I thought the rest of the special teams, you know, we had a safe punt on, uh, kept their defense on the field, knew they were going to fake it, but still didn't stop it. So we need to work on that from a safe punt standpoint. So those two things need to be cleaned up. Um, defensively, I thought we did a better job tackling. Um, we, we, our game plan going in was to take away the run, and I thought our guys did a really good job of that. Um, we played a lot of zero coverage and left our DBs out on islands for a while, and, and um, you know they, 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 we knew they were going to throw some balls on us. JT's a really good quarterback, um, but that's what we felt like we had to do defensively. So I think um, just some technique things from the DBs. Um, Paul needs to work on with those guys again this week. Uh, and then offensively, I thought we did some good things. I thought we cleaned up overall as a team. Our penalty game, we only had two. Um, but there's still a lot of work to be done. So, you know, we're, we're excited to get back at it today. When you, when you had the recruits in, did they seem excited by the uh, result? Of yeah, the I think they're always excited when you when it's easier to have recruiting weekends when you win than when you lose. So um, it was positive. Do you go out to high school games or do you let your No, you do can't right now. So it's an evaluation period. So um, I go out on the road after. Stanford. I mean, earlier earlier in this year, have you been to high school I games? I have not been to high school How did Chris Barnes do in this game? What would you consider? Chris Barnes? Chris played a good yeah. game. Was solid, made a real big play on the fourth down. Um, you know, that was kind of their go-to option route. They'd run it earlier in the game and um, had hit him on it. But I knew we knew in crunch time, uh, our defensive coaches did a really good job. They knew we, 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 uh, we were sure that they were probably going to try to run the option route with the number three receiver. I thought Chris did a really good job of undercutting him in that, but I thought Chris played a good game. Has anybody mentioned the history of the series with Stanford and UCLA recently? No, I mean, we, we, I know they play them every year. I know the two California schools and all that other stuff, but we're, we're concerned about what this Stanford team's like. We're not getting back into the history and all those other things. So. Um, we got a really good challenge. You know, David Shaw's teams are always really, really well coached. I think Costello's playing really well at quarterback right now. They've got a, probably the, one of the toughest receiver matchups in the league um, with our Sadie White side. Um, and they're always sound on the defensive side of the ball. They're so well coached. So you know, that's where our focus and attention is. We don't have time to sit down and talk about the histories of anything. It just, right, it's I, just not in our MO. I, right I guess now. I just mean they've won 10 in, they've run 10 in a row. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't matter. You keep going back to history. We don't talk about history. We're a forward-thinking operation, so what happened in the past doesn't mean anything to us. So, you know, we're, we're looking through the windshield, not through the rearview mirror. So, I don't care if they run 47 in a row. That really doesn't affect this team because none of us are here. So, we're, we're ready to focus on a really good Stanford team right now, who had an open date last week because their game against Cal was uh, postponed till the following week. So, they were off last week. Um, so, we, we got We got to get back at it and, and get ready to go. Their, their run game has not been what people thought it was going to be this year. What have you seen there that they've not, how they've not had the anticipated success in the run game? Yeah, again, I, you you guys put the perceived notions on anticipated success, not to anticipate success. If you sleep on Bryce Love, you're going to get beat by Bryce Love. He's as talented a running back as we'll face all year long, and he's, they've got our – their run game has our has our attention, and we know exactly what they're capable of doing, uh, and then that's where we got to stop. we got to stop Bryce Love and, and, and be able to contain him because he's such an explosive guy. If he gets a step or a yard, you know, he's going to take off and go the distance. So um, that's where our attention is on the defensive side of the ball is making sure we stop the run game against Stanford. Coach, some of the players talked about uh, a saying or a concept of uh, – chopping away that they used in this last game. Where, where did that concept come Yeah, from? we've used that all year long. Just kind of don't worry about things you don't control. Uh, and you just got to keep chopping. It's just an analogy to give those guys a kind of what's the next play and what's the next snap. You can't live in the past. Uh, you can't also be anxious about the future. You just got to stay in the moment and play one snap to the next snap. So it's always about the next snap. And that's what that means for us. I, I should know the history of this, but did you physically take possession of the victory bell? I've like not you? seen any bell. So. Okay. I did not take possession of any bell. Okay. What do you think of Justin Murphy coming back? It's you know I, we expected him back. You know that's that's Murph. I think he's a he's one of the tough, hard nosed uh, guys we have here. He's a real good leader. It was good to have him back. 
Um, he played 16 snaps. You know, hopefully we can get a couple more out of him this week. Um, he loves playing football. He's got a contagious personality. Um, he's been really, really good because we're so young, um, especially in the line. Um, you know, for him to come in and, and, and uh, add a little bit of leadership because he's got some experience coming from Tech. Um, but it was good. I mean, it, Murph loves playing football, so I was happy for him too that he got an opportunity to, to play uh, and to finish it out the way he wanted to finish it. So. How much credit does the offensive line get for Josh Kelly's 289? Well, they, they all should, and I think the receivers should for blocking. I think it's everybody. I mean, whenever you run for what we ran for, it's a combination of everybody. You know, and I think the quarterback's part of that. I think he made some really, really, besides one play, I thought Wilton did a really good job of managing the football game and, and putting us in great situations. You know, and whenever we needed a key um, completion, we got it. You know, on that 97-yard drive, the dig route to, to um, Theo was really big on third and seven. You know, to, to get us out of there um, and then get us moving to get a little bit positive direction. Then he hit uh, Felt on another one that got us out to midfield, and then all of a sudden Josh hit the last one for uh, for a touchdown. But um, I think it's everybody in, in, in on all cylinders. So I think the, the wide receivers are blocking real well. I think that the offensive line is really starting to come together, and obviously Josh um, was immense, but I think there's a whole group that goes to that.